Live from the internet, it's the Dr. Tom the Frog Show! Hi-ho, this is Dr. Tom the Frog, and you're watching the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, where we talk about role-playing games! Uh, now, again, we've got another Jeff Brown background here the, for, for where we are. We're in some crazy rainbow valley of lightning and lava. So you should check that out. Uh, we'll have a link in the show notes for some of his amazing artwork. I, I am super excited because tonight we are bringing on uh, the one, the only, Trey Grisby. How are you doing, Trey? Doing wonderful. I'm glad to be on your show. This is a first time for me, and I'm, I'm pretty excited. First of all, I just want to say, you know... Uh, Pee Wee was pretty excited. He's he's the the pun king. He, he's on the writing staff here. And he said that Trey is actually a robot from the future constructed with a space age polymer made from spit and pure awesome. <laughs> That's I appreciate that comment. That is very cool. That is a direct uh, quote. I'm reading it from my show notes here. I've got a teleprompter. Thank you, Pee Wee. All right. Now, I, I understand that you've been working on a game, an RPG uh, called a Matrix RPG, and there are a lot of Matrix uh, games out there. So, what makes this one the one? Oh man! If okay, anybody with Matrix games, hook me up because I always love the inspiration. Um, it started because I watched the movie and I walked out and I felt like Keanu Reeves. It was like whoa, because that's what he does in every movie. Um, but it just inspired me to sit there and finally I've played Shadowrun forever and then when the Matrix put it all together um, the Wachowski brothers um, one doesn't identify as a brother anymore so it's like the Wachowskis they are incredible and they put this like mind meld mashup together that's the Matrix and I just glommed onto it so basically the Matrix is trying to make a gaming campaign style game based on the movie, but I put it a few hundred years in the future because who cares about Neo and Morpheus in terms of in my game? I actually want people to take it to the next level. And what do you do with humans fighting machines? I mean, to me, that was the core of the Matrix. So I've been working on the Matrix for forever. <laughs> it actually was spawned probably a month or two after the movie. So in 99 was the movie for anybody that doesn't know. And uh, I finally got it produced, or produced, published, 2012, uh, August 2012. And so it's a free download, PDF for everybody, um, totally free. There's nothing about it that costs any kind of money to you guys. It's all time and uh, love for me. And I want people to play it. And I copied a couple rules from, oh, man, I should remember, Dave Bain, or Daniel Bain, there we go, Whew. Daniel Bain, got to give him total credit for a little bit of the mechanic because I was trying to go cinematic. And he has this uh, wushu system that is incredible. So just to make it short, I won't get too crazy into it. The more you describe things, the more advantage you get. And so the mechanic is based on describe as much cool stuff as possible. Don't worry about turn oh, I can take one step. No, tell me about that gold-plated nine that you pull out that was specially made for you, weighted for your fingertip, and how the sweat drips down your brow as you're ready to take on Agent Smith. That gives you bonuses. So that's a combat mechanic. And then in terms of the world, I focused on outside the Matrix because inside the Matrix is superheroes. Outside the Matrix is kind of where the world is. And so I put a little bit of fluff in there, which I'm not going to tell too much about because that's why you should kind of download the PDF and just tap into my mind. <laughs> you, you've played this game online through Google Hangouts, right? Do you see the irony in that? Uh, whoa, no, I didn't, actually. <laughs> that's a really good point. Um, I recorded, so the way it started back when Indie Plus was just getting started years ago was I needed to get players, so I sweated over this whole game, finally ironed it out, had my friends tell me how it was bad and how it was good, and then I printed it, and I'm like, wait, I need people to play besides my friends. And so Hangouts, Google Hangouts specifically, was kind of a way to do it. I actually started on another thing called Inferno, without an E, dot .net. And then that was cool, but Google Hangouts was cooler because of uh, the tabletop uh, RPG Roll20 now that you can pull in, and I was hooked. I actually still have the same board, my initial board on Roll20. That's my demo board for people, and it's kind of fun to open that up 
in a demo game, usually at LugCon, and play for people because I'm like, wow, all the stuff that comes back. But that is really cool you bring up that irony because I it escaped me, unfortunately. <laughs> I should have noticed. You, but, you, were um, so, you were so deep in the Matrix, you didn't even know that you'd taken some kind of pill of a various color. Yeah, well, I thought it was real, right? <laughs> Okay, so you mentioned this lug con. Now, I might have a screw loose, but I'm a lug nut. Now, tell, what's this convention here? Lug con, what, what's that? I love it. Well, lug con is short for Let Us Game Convention. And the whole idea was to have an online RPG convention where people could meet up and actually share games. Um, we try and focus on indie games because um, the big companies can just splash a little money and completely blow us out of water. But we want to actually focus on people that don't normally have a venue. So if you just have a homebrew, um, and there's been a ton of them put on LugCon, then bring it to us. And we try and record as many games as possible, and we put them up on playlists. So I know you probably, your listeners, not you, your listeners probably weren't back in 2014 or back in 2013 when we started this, but we actually have a playlist of the people that were brave enough to record and let us put it on the playlist. So you always own your video. You can take it off at any time, but just let us share it. And hopefully if you're a content producer, that gives you a little bit more um, advertising and you don't have to spend twice as long explaining the rules. You just give them a link and they can go check it out. So it's got a lot of purposes folded up into one, and uh, LugCon is just so people can have fun with online gaming. All right, so enough of this talk about gaming. I've got a serious question for you. I've got a serious oh. question for you, Trey. Are you ready? Don't panic. I'm on it. Let's do this. Okay. All right. Here we go. Would you rather spend a day without food or without the Internet? And and, and, and now, hold on. You have to think fast because, you know, day without food. A whole day without food. Day without have, food or day without uh, the internet? What what would you go, Trey? It'd be a day without food because I've done it before because of the internet. So, yeah. Day without food. That's so sad to say. But plug me in. I'm all about the Matrix. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's great. Now, and, and in the Matrix, you become food. So it's all circular. Nope. <laughs> there you go. Don't be selfish. I gotta feed somebody else, right? <laughs> wow. You know, Trey, it was it was super great having you on the Dr. Tom the Frog show. Thanks so much for coming on. Oh, it was a wonderful opportunity. Thank you. Hopefully you have us again and people don't forget June fifth through seventh, twenty fifteen, we're gonna do another LugCon. So go to lugcon.com and sign up. You just watch the Dr. Tom the Frog show. And we hope that you liked what you saw, yo. But if it was a big waste of your time, well, it's free, so that's not a crime. But if it was a waste of your time, yes, it's free, so that's not a crime. <laughs> <laughs>